Hey Space Cadets! This next episode has a few swear words in it, so if the little ones are running around, maybe pop on some headphones and get ready to be spaced out. Oh hey Saturday, how are you doing? Thanks for taking time out of your weekend to join me, Casey Donovan, together with our writer, Amy Malloy. This is The Space, and we're here to make your weekend a little less stressful and a lot more awesome. Today we're going to talk about a topic that we know you'll relate to. Do you suffer from weekend comparisonitis? We bet it's a yes if we list out some of the symptoms. You feel good about your weekend until you hear about other people's. You're already stressed. You don't have enough on your schedule. Instead of enjoying what you're doing, you're already thinking about what's next. Feeling fine on the weekend isn't enough. You beat yourself up for not feeling fabulous, baby. We're here to offer you some light relief. Weekend comparisonitis can really ruin your free time. It can also take a real toll on your relationships. You've got 48 hours ahead of you, or however many hours left until you log back into work. This is how you can stop comparing and start enjoying your personal life instantly. Step one, fuck comparison. There's a mantra for you. Fuck comparison. Repeat it after us. Give it some energy. Go on, you know you want to. It's Saturday. Get amongst it. Fuck comparison. We know it's not the most sophisticated coping method, but it can be powerful just to call yourself out on it. When you hear that inner critic in your head telling you to do more, to feel more, to be more, give it a hell no with this statement. Fuck comparison. Comparing your weekend to somebody else's is only going to drain your energy and do a number on your well-being. Step two. Learn how to grow without comparison. Sure, looking to other people for inspiration can help us to learn and grow. However, there are other ways of doing it. If you're someone who tends to compare, start to practice looking inwards instead of outwards. Why are you really comparing? Does one area of your life feel unfulfilled? Have you outgrown a hobby? Have you outgrown a person? Is something that was once exciting and fulfilling now samesy and boring? Are you craving a little newness? We can answer all of these questions without comparing ourselves to others or being judgmental about where we are now. If you're feeling unfulfilled, instead of scanning the horizon, turn your eyesight inwards. You can try this visualisation. Pause for a moment, no matter what you're doing. Listen to this lovely, soothing, cruisy music. Relax your eyes. You don't even need to close them. Imagine scanning your body from the outside. Focus your attention on your belly or on your chest. Wherever your inner gaze naturally goes. What colours do you see in your chest? Around where your heart is? What colours do you see in your belly? Maybe in those areas you feel some tension. Is your body full of light and bright colours? 
Is your heart mainly gold, yellow and sunny? Are there any areas of your body where you see shady colours? Blue? Grey? Purple? Maybe even a little green? There isn't a right or wrong answer. Whatever comes into your mind, observe it without judgment. Then lightly ask yourself these questions. What do I think those colours represent to me in terms of how I feel about myself? What could you do today to rebalance your rainbow? To turn those dark areas a little lighter. To make a little more room for those golden, sunny tones. Look inside your body for a few more moments. And come back into the now. You're free to go about your day. The thing about comparing is we don't have to quit it completely. But you do want to take the sting out of comparison. Nobody deserves to put themselves down, even if it's in the name of self-development. You can still get bored. You can still want to grow. You can still decide, I'm ready to try something different. But... We can do all of this without slamming ourselves. Your weekend does measure up. You are already good enough. If you want to make it even better, do it with a big dose of love. You've been listening to The Space with me, your host, Casey Donovan, a podcast written by Amy Malloy. Hang out with us on Instagram at the space underscore podcast for more tips and tricks like this one. And we'll be back tomorrow with my favourite tip of the week. Space out.